Hey guys and welcome to part 4 of my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Today we've come to the Professor's house and we're going to be seeing what Hop wants from us. Um, that's something about fishing. Ooh, and we've gone fishing. I wonder if I'm going to catch something. Now I have to actually interact with it. You can actually see some Pokemon swimming. Um, yeah, that wasn't what I was intending to do anyway. Um, I presume that will be the Professor then. Look, there's the Professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax Phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no, the whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Why, Hop, dear? I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be up here. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it completed in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Clopio? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favour, would you? Help me convince Lee that he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse, endorse them? Hop and Colopio only just started out as Pokemon trainers, there's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well yeah, you're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon in fact. Right then, in that case how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, are we waiting outside Colopio? Presume we're doing it on the conveniently placed battlefield thing. Pitch, I don't know what you call it. Gonna look over here first, see if there's any. Yeah, there is, there's a Pokeball thing. And it's a great ball. That looks like a door to me. Anyway, let's go battle hop for the 8 millionth time. And we've got some fresh water. Hurry it up, Clopio. You've got a battle me, so I can get myself that endorsement. Uh, am I just standing or am I talking to him? I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. He said he'd healed my team, so I'm going to take his word for it. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today, so show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Hot. And he sent out Wooloo. I don't know what type Wooloo is. Have you got on a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Uh, I'll use Ember. Why not? I presume we're both going to have the same amount of Pokemon. Although, I don't know. I guess I'll see in a minute. No, he's only got three. So it should actually be quite easy. Because even if we did bad with a certain Pokemon, we've got twice as many Pokemon. So, like, probably twice as much chance to beat him, if not more since I think some of mine will be higher level and a few of them just leveled up again anyway which is good and Rookity learned whatever home clause is right now I get Grookey so keep current because fire is super effective against grass right yeah his is only level 8 as well and there we go super effective well look at you seems you've really learned your type matchups I mean I don't know all of them but I know quite a few of them um, and there we go again and now on to whatever the last Pokemon is. And we also level up again. Rookady. That was flying type. Which is weak to, after a Google search, fighting bug and grass. Which I don't have any of, so I'll just keep this current one. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Well, we've got Rookady's on Nerve again. Um, I'll just use Ember. There we go, that's done half its health. And there we go again. That should kill it. Yeah, or faint it, should I say. So... Now we're done with battling Hop, I think. Well, at least this battle. We're going to have to battle him plenty more times in this game. Oof, good that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. And 640 quid for winning. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Colopio, Hop, well after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. And we get an imaginary object. Letter of endorsement. 
You put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key items pocket. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out, things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown up a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out with you too, Clopio. Alright, Clopio, you and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the, another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Hurt, oh, what's that? A shooting star. And it lands there. Clopio, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. A stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power, your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax, they're going to be massive, yes. Trust you to pull something like this, they say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true right now. Now, right. Don't be silly, Hop, those... Wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Colopio and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world, and now this. It feels like we're really getting caught up in the adventure of a li lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the, la making the latest trendy curries. Seems Hop's excited about that. It's morning at last and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, to you young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognise? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Clopio tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Clopio, Hop, these are for you. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help, you help fill out your Pokedox Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Clopier, I'll beat you to the station. Right, well, one thing I know I didn't mean to click Y, I meant to click X. One thing I noticed um, recently is this appeared, the mystery gift option, so I am going to see if it will let me get the thing that came with my game. And here we go, we get the Gigantamax Meowth gift. And I also get Meowth in the Pokedex, number 182. And there we go, that is the mystery gift that I got with the game. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.